a developing nation, our country depends on energy in all forms and from all sources. According to the latest household energy consumption survey, 87% of Filipino households use electricity for day-to-day -day conveniences, ranging from watching TV to ironing of clothes, so yung mga usual household chores and activities. Multiply all that by the number of Filipino families, and we have a staggering demand for more power. Kaya naman inaasahang magkakaroon ng malaking pagkukulang sa kuryente sa mga susunod na taon. Ayon sa pag-aaral ng Department of Energy, by 2030, ang pangangailangan ng mga Pilipino sa kuryente ay aabot sa 29,500 megawatts. Yan ay mahigit doble sa demand ng ating bansa sa ngayon. Pero ang supply ay kaya lamang punan ang 26,000 megawatts ng kuryente. That's 3,500 megawatts short of the expected demand of the country. Nakakalungkot pa na karamihan sa ating mga energy sources ay yung mga tinatawag na non-renewable or unsustainable energy sources like coal, natural gas, and oil. Alam mo actually nakakalungkot ngayon talaga Jetro kasi sa kabilayan ng mayaman ng ating bansa sa mga natural resources na maaring pagguna ng enerhiya o yung mga tinatawag na sustainable and renewable energy. So gaya nga yan ng... Gaya ng hydro, geothermal, at marami pang iba katulad ng wind at solar energy. Pero nakakalungkot din mm -hmm. na less than 1% ng energy supply ng ating bansa ang nanggagaling sa mga solar-powered plants. Mabuti na lang at may mga tao at mga certain business people na talagang tumututok sa paghahanap ng alternatibong pinagmumula na enerhiya. At ngayon nga po, andito tayo ngayon sa isang solar farm dito sa Kabanatuan, ang First Kabanatuan Renewable Ventures Incorporated. At ngayon ay libutin natin ang solar farm na ito. Tara, samahan nyo kami! Kasama po natin ngayon si Kuya Rian Bina, isang teknisya na empleyado dito sa Solar Farm. Magandang araw sa iyo, Kuya Rian. Magandang araw. So unang tanong, from solar power mula sa sikat, sikat ng araw, araw hanggang sa mga kuryente sa bahay, paano nagkagamit ko convert o yung solar panels na to para maging kuryente sa tahanan? Ano po, ano po yun kasi sa galing sa sikat ng araw, nagpuproduce ng irradiation from solar PV module natin papuntang inverter. Bali yung solar PV module natin nag nag nag-generate siya ng DC voltage at current papuntang inverter natin tapos yung inverter nagko-convert ng from DC to AC papuntang transformer natin. Mm -hmm. Papuntang cell core doon nag-generate ng power po. So yung cell, cell core, core natin yun yung distributor ng kuryente. Parang Meralco, no? Parang sa, Meralco, Metro sa Metro Manila. Opo, opo. Po. <laughs> sa solar farm po yun natin, ilang solar panels po to? Na Meron tayong 39,000 mahigit na solar PV module po. Gano karaming kuryente yung nag-generate nung ganon karaming panels? Bali, yung pinaka... yung solar farm na to, nagproproduce ng 1026 megawatt peak. So, meron bang oh. ano yun, kagaanga na mabibigay sa mga... Ano, households? Opo, lalo na pag sinabi solar, green power siya eh. Mm. Wala, talagang wala siyang noise, reduction of pollution, mm -hmm. tapos yung may git 16,500 annually na carbon dioxide ang na, wow. na re reduce natin. Okay, so very environment friendly pala. At hindi lang Jetro, siya nakakatulong no? para makamura yung oh. mga kababayan natin. Pero nare-reduce din niya yung effects Correct. of climate change yes, na sinasabi. Oh. Opo. Paano niya minimaintain to kuya itong solar farm na to? Sa ngayon ma'am, nag, nag, naglilinis lang kami ng panel para sa hindi matakpan yung pag-produce ng irradiation. Mm -hmm. Mas maganda pag umuulan para diretsyo na. Mm -hmm. Para nalinis na agad. So maganda rin pala pag umuulan. Kasi okay. syempre ang common notion araw na araw ng mga tao, lang, ano? okay. umagana lang siya pag merong araw. Mm -hmm. diba? And so as we end, na uh, Sana ay supportahan ng ating mga kababayan at ng ating pamahalaan ang ganitong mga inisyatibo na magbibigay sa atin ng mas murang kuryente at less pollution sa, sa ating bansa. We are honored to have with us today Chris Chong, the chairman of the first Kabanatuan Renewable Ventures Incorporated to discuss sustainable energy in the Philippines. Magandang araw sa iyo, Chris, yeah. and welcome to the Lighthouse Cafe. Yes, and, uh, wow! Uh, solar farm sa Kabanatuan. 
Yes, thank yeah. you for welcoming here. No, I mean, yes. uh, it's a privilege for me to come here and uh, talk a little about solar. No, yes. actually, for me, it's also quite a new industry. You know, I just entered solar around a few years ago. I entered solar around uh, five years ago. Mm. At that time, I did not know anything about solar. Mm. Um, one of our partners, actually, in the trading business. Uh, decided that you know maybe we have to try something new. No? Yes. We we were in the appliance business, and of course the appliance industry getting more and more co competitive. No. Mm -hmm. And said let's try something new. At that time they said, why not solar? No? So we said okay, but that seems complicated. That yes. seems very technical. Uh, ako, what I know is to buy and sell only. Right. So, but they said, no, no, let's try it. So, mm -hmm. uh, they went abroad to f join some exhibits and then uh, we decided to um, try our luck in one of the biddings that came out. I think that time they were bidding out the rooftop of the Asian Development Bank in Ortigas. Okay. Oh. So, we, we, we were able, we're lucky enough to able to get a technology partner from, uh, from China called mm -hmm. Canadian Solar at that time. And uh, we did the technical, they brought in engineers, they did the technical for us. Mm. We helped them with the eligibility and all the other paperwork, and then we bid. Uh, luckily, uh, we were in the top three out of, I think, 11 bidders. But uh, unfortunately, we lost a bit. Mm -hmm. But that gave me a thought no, that solar is not that complicated. It's something we can do. Yes. The only issue that time, it was the price was so high. Oh, oh. So being a... Uh, a business person, I try to segment the market. No? So solar, solar farm, not yet. Mm -hmm. There was no subsidies. The price of panels was still too expensive. Yes. So I decided to look into what's out there, what's solar. With my experience and my strength, I was selling appliances. Yes. I said, oh, I can get into solar small home systems. Right. What are these? Mm. These are small small devices yes. that has a battery, provides light, has four right. lights, uh -oh. has a small uh, cell phone charger, yes. and a radio. And where do you use this? You use this in areas with no electricity. So instead of people using small candles mm -hmm. yes. or you Flash know, the lights, flashlights yeah. or oh. the Hinebra, Hinebra right. bottles oh. with the wicker, oh. which is quite dangerous, yes. we can offer this to them. In, in fact, Chris, that was <coughs> the first time na we encountered yung field natin na yan yes. because uh, you came in very significant nung you, you know, Yolanda. Ano, Yolanda. Yes, correct. And we partnered with you, correct, Lighthouse correct, partnered correct. with you when we were extending yung help sa mga Yolanda victims and thank you for that I have to appreciate you and you know I commend you for extending to us you know because a lot of our families churches sa Samar and uh, Leyte no benefited out of that si Pimo eh walang kuryente pero portable yes. yung meron meron silang ilaw mm -hmm. nakakapag-charge yung kanilang cellphone yes. no at uh, wala silang problema dahil hindi naman nawawala yung araw correct Oh. And, and these small devices for us may seem quite simple in Manila because we yes. have electricity. Yeah. But once we give this to a family yes. who have no electricity, they had to go, a lot of them have to go down from the mountain to walk two hours right. just to charge their phone. Yes. Now they can charge their phone in the in their own house. No, parang yes. dating mag swimming ka pa sa resort, ngayon sa bahay mo swimming ka. <laughs> Yan ang feeling nila. So yes. I think. You can see how happy these people were once we gave them the yes. small home systems. So that's how we started the solar. No? Yeah. And then we, the first project we had was in uh, in Negros, no, in Negros uh, Oriental, uh -oh. and then Occidental. So that's yes. where we first uh, sent our first uh, systems. No, mm -hmm. and uh, masaya kami, no? The feedback was good. Even during the earthquake of uh, in Dumaguete area, yes, yes, oh, right. People told they were able to use it. No, some of the rescuers were able to charge their phones. Right. I think the charging the phones was help, a very huh? big yes. help for them because oh, oh. after one day you run out of battery. No matter you're what you're still you into that. Hanggang we're ngayon. still into that. Oh, oh. To date, uh, pero yung ganong klase ng produkto lahat yata meron na. You find them everywhere. Yes. But we've, of course, improved on our system, no? Oh. We used most of things you found out there is really metal box. Yes. Uh, CFL light. Right. Uh, we have changed our system to be an ABS plastic because we noticed a lot of these areas are really 
beside the sea, yes. islands, oh, just tama. those places. No? And if you're a metal box, of course, Masyado. it's a corrode. Yes, yeah? the cocoa road, yes. So we, we improved it. No? Then after that, now there's still one thing we need to improve. No, The batteries, we still we still use the batteries, is right. the, the regular car battery type. Yeah. No? So if we change to lithium-ion batteries in the future, yes. the system becomes smaller. The price is still high, but as battery prices go mas, down, ano we naman, will convert that. Naman. Yeah, more efficient. Oh, oh. In the next few, maybe next year or so, it will start converting to lithium-ion batteries already. Very good. Uh, Lahat ito local ano na, components um, na, o ano? We assemble, no? Yes. But a lot of this we still import from abroad because we still don't have uh, these, these components being built here. Mm. And, uh, and but, but the cost is going getting... Down. Yes, the going, cost is going, going down. down. So from here, I mean... Uh, why what happened no? so from here we started elevating from small systems then we started doing rooftop oh. uh, rooftop uh, i think we were luckily one Pero of the first muna, meron pa kayong lighting yes solar lighting sa mga streets yes oh. we also have street lights no yes so we for yolanda we also were one of them that supplied the solar street lights to summer right. late yes. and some of the private institutions like uh sandari batulao oh. canyon Woods, yes. uh, Canyon Cove, uh, uh, and we also we we are helping them put solar uh, street lights because solar street lights are still more expensive than regular street lights. Yes. The cost of wiring, road breaking, right. oh. and uh, boosting, and then the price is not too far. No, sometimes you know some of these roads are far away from the last street light. So if you have to wire it to your energy source, matindi mahal oh, right, uh, per kilometer, right. and then once so there's a typhoon, na ka. Na ka. The only thing you have to uh, have to replace is the battery. Yes. That's the weak link now Yan of we call this off-grid systems, no? or island mode systems. Is that the battery you have to change? It's like your car. Every two three years, you have to change your battery. Um, but as technology gets better, no? I think we've heard of Tesla, the Tesla Powerwall. Right. These things are still quite expensive, but it's there. So as like the panels, no? five years ago and now the panels are more than, less than half the price of mm. panels five years ago. I expect the battery... Mas compact na ang panels now. Yes. Right. And batteries to go be smaller and become more efficient. Yes. So let's wait for the day that the battery becomes... Right affordable. So, Chris, after nung, nung mga street lights, then you ventured into rooftop systems yes. naman. So, what about this? So, rooftops actually, um, it's something different from these uh, street lights and these home systems. No? These are on-grid systems already. Yes. So, we connect to a grid. Pag sinabing grid, yun yung talagang power source. Power source. Yes. So, oh. the power source usually in Meta Manila is Meralco. Meralco. Yes. So, and each province has their own like electric cooperative like Noreco, Varesco, right. or uh, Cellcor. Yes. So, these are all the power grids. So, what this, what technically these systems do, it helps reduce your usage of the power from these power sources yes, or the so, grid. Uh -oh. So the first one we actually did was uh, La Consolacion Manila or Manjola. Mm. So we built a 132 kilowatt system on top of the roof. Uh -oh. uh, we consumed three roofs no, of their buildings. Yes. And uh, it helped reduce their uh, power by around 20, 25%. No? Oh. Depends on the Hindi sun. Hindi lang light yan, pati siguro some air conditioners. Yes, everything yan. So, their total bill, we would reduce mm. it by around 25 cents. So during percent. daytime, uh, solar yung solar mismo yes. ang nagpa-power noon. Uh -oh. e efficient naman ba? Okay naman. I think during daytime, um, that's why we pick schools no? as yes. the, one of the beneficiaries of mm. using solar. Because schools, you, most of their energy is used in the morning. That's where the classes are. Okay. okay. If, yes. Because if you use your energy at night, wala naman akong araw. So uh -huh. I cannot uh -huh. help you there. <laughs> right. So, but of course, ito wala ng battery ito. Wala ng battery. Kasi switch over lang sa power pag gabi. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, Paano pag may bagyo? Ah, uh, pag, pag may bagyo, of course the problem is it, it will lessen the power output. Yes. But it's instead, instead of helping La Constellation with 25% of their power usage, it might help them 5 to 10% na lang yes. rather than 25. But there's one thing I just need to explain to everyone, no? Because some people say, "Oh, kung lagyan ko sa bahay ko, kung nag-brown out, di may araw ako, may kuryente." Hmm. No. Bakit naman? Sahing naman. There's a sun in the morning. Why can't I have energy? Because we are. Uh, it's really not really a technical issue. It's really a safety issue. All the inverters are designed. Once they detect that the power or Meralco is down, mm. it will also shut down. So why would you shut down? Sahing naman. There's sun. 
hmm. because the theory or the logic there is that if Moralco shuts down, there is a problem in the grid. Oh, so there is I a line man, that. Yeah, you and there is that. a line man that goes up and fixes a a transformer, the line. Yes. And if your safety solar system itself. sends back power to the grid, it is, somebody might get electricity. It's more of a safety thing. Meralco will close the breaker from two sets and ask a lineman to go up. But if there are solar systems all over the city mm -hmm. that yes. they don't know about and power sends to the grid, somebody might get electricity. So the design is if it's a grid connected, once the power shuts down, mm. in two minutes, the inverters will all shut down. Tulo ka lang doon sa building and they can cut off. Yes. Pwede. Uh -oh. Oh. And if it's not connected Parang generator to the grid, lang so yeah, not yes. connected to the grid. But once it's connected to the grid, yes. automatically, because if the grid not, it, it's power is like water, it flows to the right. vacuum. Mm -hmm. So if there's no power, it, it'll flow out. So ito naman, building ito. Yes. Uh, uh -oh. In a sense, ang sinasabi natin, Ito eh, tinutulungan yung building. Yes. But right now, what you did, ay pumasok naman kayo sa isang so, solar, solar farm. farm. Yes. Sa Kabanatuan. Why did we get into a solar farm? I think it's just the timing was also right, no? Of course, with solar is a bit expensive compared to uh, non-renewable energy. Yes. Because the investment is still quite high. But the good thing, it's being it's going down every year. Oo, ngayon lang yan kasi bago yung technology. Yes. Eh. Oh. So, the government still gives a feed-in tariff subsidy to sell low developers for them to to in to in I don't know if it's the right word incentivize yes. investors right. mm -hmm. to go into renewable energy. Yes. Well hopefully the government can it, it, in fact the bagong government incoming no I sana mas mas supportahan pa ito. I think we heard that Duterte says yes. he doesn't want this uh, coal mines to do right. it. so right. hopefully he pushes renewable energy. Mm -hmm. And this is the way to go. Yeah. I mean long term Sustainable thing. Uh, lalo eh, ang fuel energy na like what we use now, it's uh, well, masyadong dependent dyan sa international. Correct. Eh. Oh. And the fluctuations, no, like before, when the Middle East, yes. there's an embargo, right. the prices shot up Mer like Meron naman tayo rito ng hydro. Yes. Oh, pero pag tumama ang, ang El Nino, Nino, wala na yan. Na yan. Oh, oh. Meron tayong ano, uh, geothermal. geothermal. Oh, oh. oh, well, okay naman yun. Yeah. No? Sa ngayon. Oh, pag pumutok yung bulkan, anyway. <laughs> so, this is the way to go. Hindi naman yes. mawawala yung araw. And isa pa, I think, ano, yung environment na, ano, na concern, eh, di ba? Kasi since it's non-renewable, uh, it's renewable and sustainable din, no? yung, yung impact sa environment, napakalaking bagay. Yes. yes. Actually, like for the solar farm we built, which is only around 10 megawatts, mm -hmm. it will reduce around 16,500 uh, tons of uh, carbon, no? Yes. From the from the from it 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 uh, it uh, than when you use oil or yes. coal. coal, so it really helps the environment. Yeah. I mean, on another thing also, why did we do solar? No, I'm, we started this project because in 2014, end of 2014, the government actually said that by March of 2015 we will have massive brownouts. I remember, oh, yes. I remember right. Secretary Petilia oh, saying oh, that oh, we will right, have right, right. rotating brownouts again. Yes. They were saying they needed emergency powers. So one thing for us investors also to help the, help the government is that we, but if you build a, any type of power plant, you build a coal power plant, take you five years at least. Yes. Mm -hmm. You build a hydro, maybe seven years. Mm. But solar, in six to eight months, you can build That's a solar not. power plant. Oh. So it's fast. You can easily build a plan be up in six to eight months. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the paperwork is even longer than the actual uh, building, building of the plan. Yes. So, so it, that time, why did it, the timing, it was that there was the right uh, incentive at that time, of course. Mm -hmm. At the same time, there was a need for the country. We, yeah. were, we were at that time very low reserves in power. Mm -hmm. So solar was one of the things that we said, you know, this is one thing that really can help the country in the shortest mm -hmm. possible time. Is there a way for that you selected Cabanatuan City? Yes, uh, we looked at irradiance. Now, solar, actually, it's not heat. It's really the sunlight. Right. So actually, we can go through the, there's a computer program that mm -hmm. gives irradiance. And as you know, no, one of the, if you say hottest or mm -hmm. brightest areas, is really Cabanatuan and Tugigarao. 
Eh, yes, of course. Mainit talaga. <laughs> mainit talaga. Experience Those natin. places are really hot. Mm-hmm. Gen Sun, mainit din. Mainit din. Oh. So, of course, another thing is cloud cover. No? Even if it's hot, sometimes there's a lot of clouds. No? Mm-hmm. So, we'd rather, like in Baguio, I think it will be usually cloudy. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So, we pick we pick Kabanatuan because of the irradiance of Kabanatuan. At the same time, why Kabanatuan? We were able to find a very suitable partner. Yes. Our partner, uh, Cellcore, ran a diesel plant. No? So, why is diesel and solar mixed? Because solar is intermittent. Yes. And diesel can augment the intermittency and make it more stable. No? Mm-hmm. And then uh, our partner also has relationship with Cellcore, which is the electric grid of Kamanatuan. So, working hand in hand with the electric grid and a diesel plant, it perfectly matches the need of Kamanatuan. Very good. Yeah. Well, Alam mo, sana lahat ng mga nasa ganyang, ano would be able to deliver this sa buong country because uh, bottom line, eh, that's that's the way to go. I think it's, it's a good it's good stewardship. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think each person, I mean, of course, when we do business, we want to earn. I mean, it's it's also our responsibility to be profitable. Yes. But at the same time, we can be profitable at the same time being also um, being able to help others or yeah. help the environment right. it doesn't be it isn't non, only one sided non destructive yes, yes. It right. it's not one sided that you earn then you destroy uh, you can do both at the same <laughs> time and i, I feel that uh, i was lucky enough to have the opportunity to get into solar no it's not sometimes i i think it's some people ask me how did you think of solar you, I talked in area. It's really. I had a partner who said it's interesting. So it's not sometimes. And then the timing was not right. Mm-hmm. So sometimes God leads us not to times where sometimes it's in front of you. You just have to say yes. <laughs> because I I'm not a technique. I'm not an engineer. I'm more a management. Yes, you, you just have to look up and yeah. see the sun. <laughs> yeah, I mean the sun goes up and goes down. Goes up and goes down. And then I'm lucky to be one of the earlier ones getting to solar. Mm-hmm. So we from. And if you tell me to jump into a solar farm, I wouldn't dare jump right away. But because I started from this small yeah, home small system, ones. to street lights, to rooftop, then ay, kaya pa ya, kaya oh. Oh. Then we jump into solar farm. So it's and maybe it's also one of the few, we're one of the few companies that from the small light all the way to the solar farm we go the whole business. Right. Most companies only solar farm, Tama. Yeah. only small system, only yes. rooftop. We're one of the few that. We offer solution from uh, the smallest so part to the to biggest be, yes, part. Yes, yes. Well, Chris, thank you so much. I, we I, we commend you. Lighthouse Cafe thank commends you, you <laughs> sa iyong puso sa pagtulong na ganyan. And uh, maganda yung pinag-usapan natin. Yes. Well, you you gain, no? may profit, pero non-destructive. Correct, correct. And you help people. Well, thank you so much, uh, Chris, for accommodating us. And we pray that your endeavor here would still continue and many more will be blessed. At ngayon naman, Panoorin naman natin ang ating Espresso Self team as they tour us around the lovely province of Cabanatuan.